So now we're going to look at Japanese short rows. If the wrap untwisted was enough, if it made a smooth enough fabric, we could just stop there, but it doesn't. So we're going to try some other methods. First of all, put the required number of uh, little locking stitch markers onto your yarn. Then they're there, they're ready for when you need to use them. You don't have to fiddle around. Okay. Then you knit to the required number of stitches from the end of the row. In this case it's five again. And you just turn your work. No wraps, no nothing. Turn your work. And then you slip the first stitch from the left hand needle. Just purl wise so it doesn't twist at all. Okay, and then you pull up your first marker. And you make it sit snugly behind that slip stitch and then you work your next stitch and that's it so the little marker is just hanging there hanging onto the little bit of yarn that connects the two stitches okay and then I'm going to purl to five stitches from the end turn my work slip the first stitch and once again pull up my wee marker And knit the next stitch. Okay, now I'm going to meet that marker again. So I knit all the way until I have five stitches remaining. So I'm knitting that slip stitch. Okay, then I'm going to pull on that marker a little bit. See how it makes a loop? Okay, then I'm going to insert my left hand needle into that loop from the top down through to the bottom. And then you can take the marker off, pop it back on your yarn so it's there for later, and let it go. So I've got the loop on my left hand needle and I'm just going to knit that loop together with the next stitch from the left hand needle. Knit. And I'm going to knit to end. Turn my work. And I'm going to purl all the way until I have purled that slip stitch. Now the purl version is a little bit different because you need to get that loop sitting behind the working stitch. Okay, so first of all, we're going to slip the next stitch from the left hand needle to the right hand needle, just purl wise. Then we tug on that marker, making a loop, take our left hand needle up through the bottom of the loop, take off our marker, Put the marker on the yarn. It's just a good habit to get into. Then we're going to slip that stitch back from the right hand needle to the left and we're going to purl the two together. So the loop is sitting behind, tucked away where no one can see it. And as you get better at this you'll find that the little loops become smaller and smaller because you'll pull harder on them when you make them. Okay, so there we go, once again. Nice and tidy short rows.